So Copenhagen, Denmark, uh, fantastic city. Uh, just a little bit of travel advice as it rains on me here. Um, the first thing is uh, don't spend too much time here. I'd say three days is enough. That's what I stayed in Copenhagen. Uh, it is a great city, but it's a small city. And uh, you'll find after three days, you pretty much have seen everything. Uh, some of my favorite things to uh, do here in Copenhagen, I'd say one of the first things when you get here is to go to the New Harbor. Uh, I believe it's called Nyhand, and it means New Harbor. And uh, when you get there, there are all sorts of great restaurants. Uh, and there's also uh, the canal system kind of begins there. And uh, that's where you want to hop on a boat. One of the first things you should do when you come to Copenhagen is get on a boat and take a canal cruise because it really gives you a great perspective of what this city is like. It's a city built around uh, water. The other thing you want to do when you're on a canal cruise, and you may want to get off, is you have to see the Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid's a little statue that uh, sits out in the harbor. And uh, if you ask anybody, should we see the Little Mermaid, they say, well, it's nothing, but you have to see it. You have to be able to go home and tell your friends that I saw the Little Mermaid. Um, then the other thing you want to do is go to uh, Tivoli Gardens. Tivoli Gardens is um, right in the center of the city. It's kind of like their uh, Central Park. And uh, when you go there, it's uh, great for uh, romantic walks and uh, for adults to walk through the gardens and to eat at some great restaurants. But it's great for the kids as well because there's an amusement park there. Uh, bad things about Copenhagen. One, be careful of the hotels you stay in. A lot of the hotels are very minimalistic. Um, I stay in a four-star hotel and my pillows are pancakes and my comforter is not big enough for my entire body. But just be careful of the hotels. There's, there's one in town that says it's very grand and there's nothing grand about it. Uh, another thing about uh, Copenhagen, be prepared for the taxis. They're quite expensive. Uh, the uh, kroner is the money they use here and the dollar's not worth that much here. I think it's uh, five uh, dollars to, or five kroners to every dollar. So you'll find out that uh, there's, uh, your money's not worth that much. And the other thing is, uh, it's July when I'm shooting this video, and it's chilly here. Uh, summer is the time to come to Copenhagen, but uh, make sure that you bring a jacket because it can drop down to the 50s uh, at night at times. Copenhagen, great city. Uh, as you notice, I'm saying Copenhagen, not Copenhagen. Historically, the Germans called this place Copenhagen, and during World War II, they'd ask, where are you from? If you said Copenhagen, they knew you were German. If you said Copenhagen, um, you're in a little bit of trouble.